Welcome back y'all and today we're getting to know the glowfish Pristilla tetra. The glowfish Pristilla tetra is a genetically modified version of Pristilla maxillaris, commonly known as the x-ray tetra. The glowfish Pristilla tetra showcases stunning fluorescent colors that glow under blue LED lighting, making it a visually striking addition to any aquarium. These vibrant hues are a result of insertion of genes from sea anemones and other organisms into their DNA. So because these fish are technically GMO, they will not lose their color over time, or at least they shouldn't unless there is some sort of stress or illness. In terms of appearance, the glowfish Pristilla tetra features translucent bodies with a silver or yellowish hue, complemented by the striking neon red, green, orange, or yellow stripes running along their sides. These colors will be amplified if you keep them under blue LED lighting. Now these tetras have a lifespan of around four or five years and they only get to be about two inches in size. They are also a peaceful schooling fish and will do best when kept in groups of six or more. Now due to these fish being a schooling fish, you will want to keep them in a bare, bare minimum tank size of 10 gallons. But of course, bigger is always, always better. Pristillas prefer a tank with softer, more acidic to neutral water with a pH between 6 and 7.5. These tetras do well in a wide range of temperatures from 65 to 80, but they will be the most active and healthy if kept between 75 and 78 degrees. Now, Pristillas do not care for bright lights and prefer a darker gravel with a few hiding places and plants to make them feel more secure. Now, while you may spot these fish all over your aquarium, they are considered a mid-dwelling fish and still need plenty of space for swimming. Now, when it comes to filtration, these fish do prefer slower moving waters. So sponge filters or other methods of low flow filtration tend to be favored amongst fish keepers. When it comes to choosing tank mates for Pristilla tetras, it is important to consider their compatibility and the overall well-being of your aquarium. Pristilla tetras are technically a peaceful fish and they will do well in most community aquariums. To ensure a harmonious environment, it is recommended to select tank mates that share similar water parameter requirements along with similar temperament. Now, as a quick warning, these fish are known to nip at longer fins, so you may not want to put them with say, bettas or angelfish. Some examples of ideal tank mates for these fish are neon tetras, corydoras, or harlequin rasboras. And of course, as these fish only get to be two inches in size, you will want to avoid placing any large fish with them because if it fits in a fish's mouth, it's food. Now in the wild, Pristilla tetras primarily feed on small insects, worms, crustaceans, and plant matter. In an aquarium setting, their diet should consist of a combination of dry and live or frozen foods to mimic their natural feeding habits. Now these fish are not at all known to be picky eaters. They will readily accept small foods such as brine shrimp, daphnia, bloodworms, and blanched vegetables, along with high quality tropical pellet or flake food. Now when it comes to breeding, these fish typically reach maturity between five to eight months. Pristillas are an egg scattering species and males tend to have a more streamlined and slender body shape compared to their female counterpart who may appear slightly rounder or plumper. Contrary to belief, blowfish are not sterile and they can breed. Having said that, while you can breed them in your home aquarium, there is a patent on them so you will not be able to legally sell the offspring. So anyway, guys, that's all I really have for y'all today. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video.